Hello, welcome back to Crazy Dove Studio. In this video, we will look at how to upgrade the operating system on a data domain using the Data Domain System Manager. So you can get the complete details of upgrading the data domain operating system by generating it on Solve, which is Dell's tool for generating any procedure documents for any of the operations on Dell based products. So Solve is available both online as well as as an offline application for Windows as well. So the link to the online instance is in the description. The first step is always to check the release notes for the respective operating system version which you want to upgrade to. Release notes obviously will be available on the support website. Uh, there are a few changes or uh, upgrades, one of which is the change in the UI. So, the, uh, so Dell is going with the PowerProtect theme and that has been applied to the latest version of the DDoS operating system as well. The other exciting changes is that DDVE can now scale up to 256 terabyte on AWS and, and on GCP. Uh, which was earlier 96 terabytes. The other feature or other option now available is that the DDV is now available on the GCP marketplace, which was not earlier. Now, once that you have gone through the release notes, you will be able to know what is the difference and would be a good step now to go ahead and uh, check your in backup environment and see if ev everything is compatible with this new version of data domain. So once that is done, you can go ahead and download the upgrade package from Data Domain which is on the DDoS page of the support site. You can go to drivers and downloads and then select the version of Data Domain OS that you want to upgrade to. So my current version of Data Domain is 6.2. So let's go ahead and log in there. Now that you have logged in into the data domain system manager, you can see on the right bottom corner here that the OS is 6.2, not 6.3, and the DDV version is 4.0. So that has not been upgraded. So 4.0 is the highest and the username and the role and so on. So I'm still in the evaluation license, which, which allows me to protect data up to 500 gigs. Now the upgrade section is on the maintenance section of your menu. And on system, when you go to your system uh, menu on the right hand pane, you will see the upgrade section. And here, the first step is to up upload the package into the data domain. So the package which is uploaded will directly go into slash ddvar slash releases. So there is another option of uh, uploading this as well using the NFS. Uh, you can look at this option by uh, by seeing my previous video which was about uh, upgrading data domain OS using the CLI. When you're on the system manager, uploading is pretty easy. All you have to do is come to this page under system and then click on upload update package. It will allow you to browse to the location of your package which in my case is is somewhere here temp and if i go and check this so this is the package so the download file will be in the name of the version of the operating system itself so you can select that and click on open and then click on ok now this is going to take a few minutes for the package to be uploaded so I'm going to pause the video here and uh, come back when the package has been uploaded. Okay, so the package has been uploaded to the data domain. Now the next step is to go ahead and run an upgrade pre-check, which is pretty simple here. You select the upgrade file that you want to be installed and you go ahead and chuck Check, uh, um, select the upgrade pre-check to see if the system is currently in a position or in a state to be upgraded so let's go ahead and do that now and this is again going to take uh, around 30 to around 30 minutes to go ahead and check the system uh, if the system is upgrade ready and uh, let me pause the video here and come back to you once the uh, pre-check is completed Alright, so the pre-check is now complete and uh, as you can see the system is now ready. Uh, 
uh, for the upgrade in case this particular stage fails during your upgrade you would have to go ahead and contact your support and see what exactly might be uh, the issue with your system which is the reason why the pre-check had failed and you get you need to get it rectified before you go ahead with the upgrade so let's go ahead and click on close and now to move ahead with the upgrade again uh, make sure that the correct file is selected uh, sometimes that there, there might be a case where in there are multiple files so just to make sure that you have the correct file selected and then go ahead and click on perform system upgrade so here uh, you have the summary stating that the system is going to be rebooted the current version is 6.2 and after the upgrade the target version will be 7.3 and the current uh, user logged in is sysadmin so let's go ahead and click ok uh, so once you click ok the system is going to start with the upgrade process then the data domain is going to reboot and on boot it is going to complete the upgrade process and then complete the boot and then you will be able to log in so let's go ahead and click on ok here and this is again going to take some time so i'm going to pause the video here and uh, continue once the upgrade is completed so here you can see the steps the pre-check is again running then the uh, upgrade will be installed then the system will be rebooted and the upgrade will be finalized and after which you will be able to log in into the system again right so the installation is completed and the data domain is going down for a reboot and once it comes up it's going to finalize the upgrade and the data domain operating system will be on 7.3 then on so let's go ahead and wait for the upgrade to complete now okay looks like the upgrade is done let's go ahead and refresh the screen here and uh, all right it's still coming up let's log in with sysadmin and our original password and you will straight away see that the uh, GUI has completely changed from before so this is the power protect uh, theme as you could say or power protect theme that the uh, the Dell EMC is following right now the data manager has this the, the, the data domain now has this and any other power protect uh, applications that come out might have the same theme as well so here is the summary of our upgrade so everything went on okay if the upgrade fails in any of the phases you would have to contact EMC to fix that issue because there is no other way of uh, really fixing that issue of uh, upgrade failure so as soon as your upgrade uh, encounters any errors immediately raise a p1 with the uh, or severity one ticket with EMC to get that fixed so let's go ahead and click on close button here and you will be now shown uh, with the enhancements or differences on operating system 7.3 so different uh, options here you can go through them and uh, let's go ahead and click on close and you can see the upgrade history that 7.3 was done today which was uh, November 28th when this is still available you can delete this to free up the space and if we go into data manager and file system you should see that the file system is already enabled and running and the version on this particular um, DDoS is version 7.3 and the DDVE version also has increased from 4.0 to 6 zero so this was all about upgrading ddos using the data domain system manager thanks for sticking with me till the end of this video i hope you found this useful if you have any questions or comments share it with our community in the comment section below or you can drop me a message at my twitter account i will see you on another video Goodbye.